Thank you for visiting our channel. Today I came out to review and also quick unbox this awesome looking smartwatch. This is BP Doctor Pro smartwatch. Taking accurate blood pressure reading on top of that, track your daily tracks. It starts with heart rate, SPO2, auto sleep monitoring. Also, this is a real breakthrough to give you everything accurately. If you see at the bottom of it, it has a miniature air valve that can inflate. That way, it checks your blood pressure on the smartwatch. I do not want to forget, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, click the click the subscribe button. Make sure you share this with your friends and family and make sure you click the notification select all in order to get notified once we have a new video out. On top of that, if you have a question, drop them at the bottom of the video. We love to help you out ASAP. And don't forget to click the click the like button. It really motivates us to make these type of videos quickly with a little more detail every time. And this is all the components that are part of the box. It comes with this quick start guide that is just a few pages that you can open and it will talk to you about the app. Watch what type of apps you should see. And then once you open it more, it talks about how you should be able to, how you're going to be able to connect the paper band that they have sent us. We will show you in a couple of seconds. And also how you should be able to check your heart rate and also your blood pressure, how you should be able to process that. That little box that came with this should be very handy to use. And then all of the other parts that we should cover in this video. But once you go to the back, it has more information that how everything should work and also how you can get the app. All is inside of the quick user guide. Now it also comes with this little user manual. This is very detailed about the BP Doctor smartwatch instruction manual. The model number is right in the bottom of it. And then once you open it, table of contents here. So it talks about more how you should be able to process it first time, second time, blood pressure, how everything is going to be able to use. Now this is pretty thick, so we cannot go through everything, but all of the information that you require is going to be here all in English. One really cool thing is that they have their email address written right in the bottom if you need it. It also comes with this little charging cable. This is a micro USB going to the regular USB so you can charge it. And it is a little bit long. So this is not a short wire. And this is the docking station, how you should be able to charge your watch. So you can see that it sits properly on the ground or on the table and then the micro USB connection on one side. There's nothing on the other side. Looking in the bottom, there's no writing, anything, but look inside of it, you have those little pins and where the watch is going to sit, which we're going to show you in a couple of seconds. And they have these little parts. I'm sure that it will click in. So you know that it's really steady when it is going to charge itself. Now, the best part is that they give you this little paper. Now, this is really good that you want to measure that what type or how big or how tight your wrist should be when you're going to put this around your wrist. So it's very easy to do. You just have to go through it and you have to make sure that once I just gets in a little bit, there you go to make it simple and then put your hand through it. And this way you can really measure up your wrist. So just put it up a little bit. Remember that according to what they say on the actual paper, how you should be able to check this out. There's one part that talks about two fingers. We're going to do that right now. And then it should be able to process it. So once you go to the middle, you have to put two fingers right from your rest where it ends to here. So this way you know exactly where it should be, that it should find your pulse. And then you can make it tied up a little bit. So mine is roughly about 10 or should I say nine and a half in order to tie this up. So I know that this watch will do the job for me properly and don't rip this up. Just keep it just in case there's nothing on the other side of it. And then comes the big part, which is the watch itself. Now it is around this little part. I really like it. I didn't take it out because thought is going to just push in. This is how the watch really looks. There's no screens on top of it the way that they have made it. But here are some little parts that we want to cover. So yes, the rubber band comes off. It is plastic. Yes, it's made really nicely. So let's go through. Here's the watch itself. You can see there's a little screen to it. And then when you go to the sides of it, you have the button, the long one, and then this, the little one. And then these are just silver going around. There's nothing here. Same thing on this side. 
nothing here but once you flip it in the back now this is really inside of the watch itself and then there's the sensor and then the charging port that's really cool and then this part also is just really selected so you cannot remove this and no you cannot remove it don't remove it there is little screws that you can see but we're not going to take that out that's how it has been and then the rubber band itself on this side it also have the similar thing here's a little part there is a little sleeve now this going to be filled up with air so that way you can get your blood pressure properly and there is a little part that goes back and forth so that way you're going to be able to get it perfectly on your arm and then the top part of it it's really nicely set up and then the part for your rest band to go inside of this and then sit inside which is really nicely done so these are little parts about the watch itself let's charge it up so to put it on the charge let's get the wire out just going to make it nice and straight first so once you put on the other side in your computer or on the charger then go ahead and connect this part to the actual charger so let's hook it up there is no LED indicator on this that shows that this one just got the charge but you just have to trust it put it in and that's about it and now grab your watch itself you can see the charging port you have to make sure that it matches on this and you just have to put it on and there you go and let it charge for a little bit but it clicks in so it is not something that you could make a drop I really like that and let it charge for a little bit so this way we can use it and here you go you can see that right now it is zero charge that's how we received it so let's charge it up fully and then we're going to capture more about the watch itself all right so let's get this connected number one we're gonna go in and we have to scan this so for that we have our Galaxy S22 Ultra on hand we will be going into our phone and we brought up the camera now we're going to turn on this and there you go now it shows up so we will click on it and automatically it will go to the website to get the app for us and that's the one that we need as the english version which is called bp doctor and now automatically takes you to google play store on the top and we will say install now it takes a couple of seconds for it to install so once we have the watch ready you have to have to press the button from the top and this way we can see more of the settings the brightness everything's going to be here so i'm going to put it on 100 percent you can see that it is fully charged now and the time is running there too now we have bluetooth and also we have the battery saving this is really cool to have so that way we can play with it now if the scroll down and you can see that all of them are there now under going settings you have more information inside that you can play with and even if you want to reset the watch you can do that now just have to press the button to go back now here's the best part now as soon as you flip to the right you will be able to see your blood pressure settings and yes you can see that we have already processed it one time and here you go and now going into the heartbeat this is what it shows up now going next type is the spo2 that's also going to come up and that's about it now when we press this button it should take us back and now you will be able to get more options so something like if you want to go through you should be able to see that now if you scroll up there's more settings inside of it that you can play with even the weather and also sleep mode everything is there even if you want to see how much calorie you lost it's all going to be in there now that's the only thing that's going to be inside of the app itself that we will show in a couple of seconds but here you go there's more information inside that you can play with with this now the app has to get connected with the actual watch in order to get more information from it and sometimes it is not going to be connected so you have to make sure that on the top you have that little icon that you got to click and this way you're going to get more information about it so when you go there it will tell you that you are connected now if you go back home these should come up easily from the actual watch now if you didn't get it that's fine you can see that i already have some calories that are there now because i haven't done anything yet on the watch itself today that's why it does not show anything reading yet and check it out so if i go to week you can see that that i already processed it and there is some readings already there 
You can see that it changes automatically to different numbers right on the top in the days that I already processed. So it's not showing really what good numbers we're getting. I want to let you know that once you're connected on a top, it will give you your name. But once you click on the actual screen, these are the screens that you can download and there's no more and no less. And here you go. This one already downloaded. And once I go to my dialer, here you go. These are the ones. So once I click on this and I have to say that set this team and confirm now automatically it will switch the actual watch to that screen. As you can see right now, it just switched and that's how you will be able to see it. How easy that is. Now, number one, remember that you had that two fingers that you had to make sure that you measure and then you're going to put it on on your hand. So this part is going to be on the down part and then you have to hook it up. And you have to make sure that it is tight and it's not going to be loose. If you put your finger inside, that's loose. You got to make sure that you got to go one more and hook it up. Now it's hard to put the finger through and you have to tie it up. And then we're going to press the button to turn it on scroll and click start and now we have to relax our hand and make sure that it is on a way so this part gets inflated as you can see right now it is it gets tighter and tighter and you can see that it says that my strap still is not really tight so let's do it a little bit more and I don't think I can do more. You can see that the skin comes out. So we're going to do it one more. We push it back in. Remember, this is trial and error for this. So we're going to say one more time. We're going to relax our hand. We got to be as relaxed as possible. And now it's tying up again. Now this time we're going to fast forward some of these scenes to make it a little bit faster. We don't want you to lose any minutes it's pretty tight right now and here you go now you can see that it shows us 133 over 88 so i'm going to put the chart right over here so you can see the difference on how good this is and once you go to it there you go and my heartbeat is a little bit higher so you can press ok now let's switch and go to the heartbeat and this is really cool too that sometimes you want to do running or you want to see exactly how fast is your heartbeat. This really works and then it just goes up and down. So it takes a little bit for it to go through, but it does work perfectly. Now, before we go next, I want to mention one thing that this have no NFC, GPS or Wi-Fi connections. It's only running on the Bluetooth to get your, your heartbeat, also your blood pressure to be exact about this. The battery on this is about 180 milliamps, which should last you roughly about five days of charge. It is running on Bluetooth 4.0 only, but again, the resolution on this is 320 by 360, but it works perfect. All the links will be available where we can order it from, except that I hope you guys like our video. If you do like it, click the click the like button, subscribe button on the top, comment on the bottom. Always remember to visit our own website, which is xctext.info. Like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and other social networking places. And thank you.